Hi, Nihao, Chef Tom. I got some ahi tuna steak. We're gonna pin sear it. I like to use a non skillet frying pan, some sesame oil, and we're gonna add some salt. Oh, you have garlic salt, will be okay too. Black pepper, skip them some flavor. And shishimi, it's like a Japanese roasted pepper, ginger, and garlic seaweed. We're gonna put our steak in, get them a nice flavor. I want my steak rare in the between, so I would say probably one minute or minute and a half on each side. And here, I'm gonna season something as well. Salt, pepper. We can add some sesame seed too if you like. This is the basic, very simple, quick way to do at home. Put them a sweet swirl like that. See, the meat will eat up all the spices, ingredients at the bottom of the pan. As you can see, the bottom part of the tuna meat is start turning brown. Give them a quick look, about a minute. I like to have a little bit more darker, more flavor. This steak is pretty large. You see? I think that's good. If some people don't like to be too rare, you probably have to cook two to three minutes on each side. You see that? Let the bottom suck up all the ingredients. At home, that's what I like to do. I like to add some cherry cooking wine. Get them more flavor, elevate more flavor. And some, just the basic teriyaki sauce. Why not, right? Ah, oh, smells so good. Guess what? The ahi tuna pin sear is done. Now we're gonna take it out and set it aside and let it rest for 15 to 20 minutes before we even cut it. Here I just cooked some yakisoba noodle. Take about one minute just to use some boiling water and put the noodle in. Stir for one minute, it's done. I got ginger and garlic. Kind of slightly roasted ginger and garlic mint. Sesame oil and the light sodium soy sauce. Just a few dash in pepper, black pepper or white pepper. White pepper give them a little spicy cake, but I use black pepper. Sesame seed. And if you want the yakisoba, they usually come with the package seasoning. If you want to use that, it's fine. Get a little more flavor, but I think this is good enough. Just gonna give them a quick mix. I want this noodle to be light, not overpowering, because I'm gonna add other side dish to go along with this. Here, I got this beautiful Korean spicy tofu. Put it in here. I'm gonna bring this dish to uh, my brother's house. I'm gonna visit him later. And this is a tiny anchovy right here with some peanut this tastes like candy here are the tuna we want to cut against the grain which is right here oh beautiful look at that we have more pieces here Nicely pink in the middle. That's what we want. And then we're gonna put this beautiful, tasty ahi tuna on the top of that yaki soba noodle. We're gonna add some shishimi on the top of the tuna and the yaki soba noodle. In the end, I'm gonna add some finely chopped cilantro. This will be a perfect 
dish to bring to my brother. Hope he like it. This you could be served cold or warm. I hope you like the video. I'm Chef Tom. Thank you for watching. I see you next time. Bye.